Hi everyone, and welcome to a Mattel Jurassic World Dominion stream. I've seen the film. I've seen the film twice. I like it. I like it a lot. I was going to see it twice uh, anywhere, but uh, yep, seen it. Seen it, seen it, seen it, and I very much like it. Hey my friend, how you doing? How you doing, League Tree? Not too bad, thank you. How are you? Alright. Got a couple of items. Got this uh, Jurassic World Dominion Minis Gigantosaurus Rampage playset, which we're going to have a look at in a moment. But first, we have the Owen Escape Pack. As you can see, a couple of Atrociraptors, Owen himself on a bike, helmets, and a juvenile Carnotaurus. Let's go! Now, Mattel have made a strange effort to not make this a traditionally opening box. So in preparation, I've had to destroy this <laughs> to get this open. I have no idea why, but uh, anyway, let's get rid of this reflective plastic box out of the way. Always recycle responsibly. And get this tray out, put this backing over there. Now it's got a, it's got a nice beach uh, back to it, which is cool. Very evocative of uh, the one scene in the film with Malta. And I'll try not to spoil anything. But yeah, let's go. Let's get some, let's get some creatures out of here. So there we go. We've got, we've got one Atrociraptor. Doing good. Glad you're doing good, League Tree. And we've got another Atrociraptor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got the Carnotaurus. And some other creatures too to, to entertain. Right, well, well, if we just turn this round, and, and it becomes a bit of a, you know, a bit of a, a bit of a face off. There you go. Okay, so here we go. Owen and his uh, bike. Well, I say his bike. <laughs> the bike that he commandeers. But, well, there you go. Owen Grady, everybody. And we have his, air quotes, utility tool. It's a knife. It's a knife, Mattel. Say it! <laughs> They're trying to be very child friendly with uh, saying things like utility tools for the cat, for the humans, when, when you know, weapons. And a helmet as well, like he doesn't wear in the film. But of course, always practice safety when it comes to. Uh, Riding your bikes, being pursued by vicious dinosaurs. And always dispose of your plastic responsibly. Look at Owen first. Yep, yep, yep. He is mostly a redo of older Owen figures. Especially from the Fallen Kingdom line because of that um, Henley. I didn't grab another Owen. I probably should have prepared one earlier. Uh, well, oh, oh. grab one of these. So this is from Fallen Kingdom. This is the trainer Owen uh, that came with the baby blue. And this is uh, a new Owen. Yeah, you can see the, the, they've... They've changed the appearance of the head. Just, uh, I think that's the only thing you can really compare it with these two. Uh, the head is different. Especially the hair. Uh, the facial hair as well. Uh, this this older one, this older one's pen uh, sculpting is a bit looks a bit wonkier. <laughs> this one, this newer one, looks a bit tidier. Um, I don't think you can say either are one hundred percent Chris Pratt. I think that's fair to say. This one looks a bit more Chris Pratty from the side, if anything. But yeah, not bad. Not too bad at all. And also, some people have pointed out, like, 
uh, trouser texture as well, like jeans texture. And yeah, these ones are definitely cast smoother than these newer ones. See, th with this one you get a bit of a... I don't know if you can... I don't know if you'll be able to hear, but there's... There's definitely a difference in the texture, the, the defined texture. And also, a holster in the back, which is a first for these new Owen figures in the Dominion line, where he can actually stow his utility tool, or knife, as it is. <laughs> there we go. Goes in one way, and there you are. Lovely. Simple as that. Right, so, so, so let's get this older Owen out of the way. Let's straddle him on the uh, synth stand. Where does it put... Right, okay. So, we've got his helmet as well. So, 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 so we, we've got it, we might as well use it. If we can. It's not exactly going on. It might need a bit of heat. <laughs> I'm going to keep it like that. It might need a bit of heat. But there you go. Let's have a look at the bike. Bike's not bad. Uh, the one glaring thing I would say, yeah, it's nice and basic. It moves, so uh, you can do some action-y stuff with it. Um, nice, more or less solid. Got some nice paint on some of these areas as well. Nice silver paint. A little bit shiny there. A bit shiny there as well. Lovely. Um, yeah, not bad. Got a kickstand as well. Ooh! That's got a nice. That's got a nice ratchet on. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Okay, so can it stand? Can it actually stand? It can. Check that out. Oh god, no. There you go. It's standing on its own accord. Lovely. I like that. Okay, nice, nice solid bike to muck around with. Kickstand. Oh no, I can't stand because it's kicking. Yeah. The only the only glaring thing I would say about it is the wheels. Are because as you can see, uh, they're not spoked wheels. Um the, the the spokes are sculpted, but they're just cast in like one solid block of plastic, which I suppose is okay. It, it makes it makes cost sense. I mean, I suppose it's cheaper to do this than to actually do wheels with holes in them to represent gaps between the spokes. Uh, yeah, it's 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 not bad. It just makes it look a bit cheaper than it could be. But yeah, nice solid bag. Not bad at all. Okay. And I honestly can't remember if the movie's bike looks like this at all or not but it looks fine to me i think the one in the movie was actually white but you know what i've seen it twice so i still don't remember <laughs> i should do right now all right let's have a look at the uh raptors the evil raptors the atrocity raptors hi so this one is the atrocity raptor i think is known as ghost they all have code names like uh, the uh, Velociraptor Squad from 2015's Jurassic World. This one I believe is called Ghost because it's mostly white. Or at least I think this is Ghost. It probably isn't. But I think this is it. <laughs> if it's not Ghost, I'd like to know who it is, please. Uh, and also, got the DNA tags as well. Because that's the thing in these new uh, Dominion toys. Nice bit of uh, universal joint articulation. There you go. You can see the you can see the swivel point there. Universal joint articulation in the neck. Nothing in the top of the neck heads area, which it it doesn't it doesn't not hinder it, but it doesn't do it any favors. I suppose. I mean, you can only do so much when you're in this preposed action. But we have an opening jaw, and the jaw looks good. Now, when they're in the box, we can only see one side of the face, so I picked them based on these eyes only. So let's have a look at the other one. Ah, not bad. Not bad at all. Yes, in terms of paint job, 
quality control, I'm happy with this one. The, the arms do look very white, <laughs> you, know, the, you know, against the rest of it. I know it's supposed to be the same white that, that's on this underbelly. It's supposed to be the same on this underbelly, but instead of painted, it's cast in plas white plastic, so it, it does make it stand out when it, when it comes to this uh, shoulder joint here. But yeah, not bad. Tailspin, yep, bit of tailspin, which is usually a uh, aviation thing. So yeah. That's 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 one Atrociraptor, which I think is Ghost, but might not be. And here's another one. Again, I'm not really confident on the names, but this one is either red, as opposed to blue. It's either red or Panthera. That might be Panthera back there. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't I haven't fully learned them yet. I mean, uh, when the, the first Jurassic World came out, so it took me a while to learn who was who apart from Blue, you know? But let's have a turn around with this one. Let's have a look at the... Oh, 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 actually. Oh, do you know? No, it's, it's a neck joint in a funny socket. So it doesn't want to do it too much. Ah! Yes. I like that. Yes, the eye printing is good on this one. Ha! Happy with that one. Yep, usual barely painted toes and limbs. But uh, th this one, this one's limbs sort of blend better with the rest of the body, as opposed to that one, which is nice. Uh, th ah, they've done the thing for the tail, though, where they've swapped the colour palette and plastic moulding. So instead of... Right, so instead of... Orange, the orangey red moulded plastic with the white uh, with the bleach detailing. We've got the we've got the bleachy whitey moulded plastic with the orangey detailing. You see, you can see the difference there. No other point. Uh, yep, tail spin as usual. Yeah, usual kind of articulation for the body. Uh, well, the limb should I say? Um, but I don't think. But uh, I think the uh, more persnickety of, of collectors will want to keep it in this pose uh, because of the the the, the uh, actual detailing in the paint. Otherwise, you start moving it, it breaks the not the sculpt, it breaks the paint, uh, breaks the lines. It's not too mad, but. There we go. Another scanned code for you. Lovely. So yeah, either Rouge or Panthera. I'm not sure which one. I'm sure people have said, I'm sure people know. But there you go. Okay, so who have we got here? We've got the Juvenile Carnotaurus. Now then, this one, so, oh god. <laughs> See this one, I've already turned it around, so. Yep, the oh the eye on that one isn't terrible, but it doesn't completely fill the area it's supposed to, unlike this side. Focus, please. There you go. Yeah, it's not terrible, but it could be could, could be better on this side. But then again, it kind of sort of suits this damaged side of the face or the skull, should I say? Because you got the broken horn here, so yeah, I can yeah, I can get away with that. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm 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 happy. I'll be happy with that. I've got a nice bit of underpaint for the chin and the uh, well lower jaw neck area. Um, nice instance of the uh, gum, the 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 stretchy mouth bits. I forgot what they're called. Being attached to the lower part of the jaw, which is not which is nice. I think I think quite a few others have done that as well, but. It's very noticeable on this one. Not bad teeth and inner mouth detailing. Rah! So got that. Uh, arm articulation, although why give our t arm articulation to Abilisaurs? I do not know. <laughs> you're, you're better off just doing that. Unless you've seen Prehistoric Planet, and then you can then you can do this. Yay! <laughs> so there you go. So yeah, it's definitely a juvenile Carnotaurus. 
Ooh, nice paint as well. Look at that. Shiny orange paint on the bluish grey body. Not bad. Not bad at all. Bit of a stiff tail, but it can work. Ah, yeah, the paint kind of ends at the tail. So that's a usual thing for Mattel these days. <laughs> as you do. Uh, movable legs, of course. Cool. So, three or four colour colours in this palette. Not bad. Now it's a juvenile Carnotaurus, and you may be, and they've done this with a couple of creatures. They 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 re they release the juven the, and they're called and and I say juvenile because it's the best way to describe the smaller scale, big dinosaurs that they that they've been doing to put in multi packs and what have you. Uh, they did that with the Parasaurolophus. And uh, now, and 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 uh, the, yeah, the, so they did that with the Isosauna uh, capture pack, which which I have already, which I have done a stream video on. If you want to check that out on my YouTube, be, be appreciated. Um, and they've done that, and which is going to be uh, released with a repaint with uh, the human pack with uh, the trench coat Owen. To reflect the beginning of uh, Dominion, uh, but yeah, now they've done it with uh, Carnotaurus as well. And to give you a good sense, let's grab the full size Carnotaur. Boom! There we go, full full size Carnotaur, which is very appropriate as well for this scenario. So, so you can see the size difference. Look at that. Little, big, little, big, Rexy, little, big. So yeah, bit of size difference. Thank you. Uh, yeah, a bit of size difference, but it's but like I say, it is appropriate as well, because in the movie, again, uh, not not too many spoilers, but in the Malta sequence, we have both. Smaller, younger Carnotaurs and the adult Carnotaur. So, so yes, very, very appropriate, I would say. So we'll put this Carnotaur back here. Uh, whilst we we'll get this uh, little one here, and there is also a reason why this uh, horn is broken as well. It, it you know, in in an in movie reason why that is so. Again, try not to. Do many spoilers because movie's only just been released, so I don't want to say too much. So, so, so just have Owen there with his uh, str with his uh, strange helmet because, of course. Uh, so yeah, that is the Owen Escape Pack from Jurassic World Dominion. A very nice set. Um, in the UK, it is only available at Smiths. It's an exclusive. Um, I'm not sure about the availability in America, but I think play, I think the usual kinds of places like Target will have them, so happy hunting. Stay safe, stay Jurassic when you do so. Okay, so that's them. We'll, we'll, we'll get this backdrop removed. Oh, look, more dinosaurs! How fortuitous! So, so, so I'll put them there. So, so I'll put, put you back there. And then we'll, and, and, and we'll put, put one of you there, and, and, and we'll make you stand up again because you didn't do that right. We'll get the bike that. We'll get the get the get the bike there, and and, and uh, you know you know we'll get Owen and his weird helmet there, uh, because of course. And will that do? See, so see, so just got a few friends, just a few, and uh, most of these are the Dominion things. We've also got the couple of the Hammond collection. Creatures there, which are very nice indeed. So yeah, see that T-Rex, Carnotaur. There's there's the full size Allosaurus at long last, uh, and uh, yeah, the Herazinosaurus. Lovely. Okay, so that's so that was the first thing to look at. Now we've got this to look at, and this is my this has my first Gigantosaurus as well. It's a mini, but it's still a Gigantosaurus. Okay, so this this again, this little set, 
it, it, I kind of had to rip it apart a little bit because Mattel was like, you, you know what would be funny? If, if we just made it really cruel to open these things. So this is the Gigantosaurus Rampage set. And check that out. Lots of goodness packed within. Bit of cardboard. Dispose. Ooh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Bits and pieces. This, this is the kind of thing... This is the kind of thing that, that, that you know, I'd love more of. Just, just more... Just, just see how much was packed into that small box. And it, and it was a... Uh, it was. It did feel like a lot was packed in it already, but yeah, that's cool. Ah, can't wait to open. It's like Christmas, only more dinosaur. Although because of the eggs, shouldn't presents dinosaur related be more Eastery? Just, just, a, just a thought, just a food for thought. Trying to get the tape off res responsibly. Some people, and I know some reviewers, like to hack away at these things and absolutely tear into them because they don't want to waste time. But, but, what, what if, what if you need the bag later? <laughs> you know. Well, that's my, that's my line of thinking anyway. Ooh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, let's have another bag, bag here. So look at that. I'm not sure what any of this is. Well, that, well, that looks like some tree decor, but uh, I'm not sure. What, and that looks like a base, but I'm not sure what this is. Hmm, curious. But it looks like there's a lot of fun to be had with breaking stuff apart in this one. I'm just going to cut this one. Yeah, it's just really cool how there's so much packed into this. These look like, ah, these look like gates. Or, or, or doll, yeah, dolls of some kind, like, yeah. Got the, got the classic Jurassic cross design for containment. Cool. So all, all these bits here, it's a bit of a construction stream now. Don't worry about it. G gives you some time. G mix, mix streaming worth it a little bit. Well, relatively. Okay. Contents! This is content. And I don't mean the video kind, I mean this is happy. Okay. So we've got one of these. Oh, wait a second. Are these the same? I should really pay attention to that. Okay, that's slightly different, which is good. So you got one side that's bigger than the other, so to speak. I, I, I mean, these hinges. I know what you're about. <laughs> okay, and then they attach to these bits here. Uh... So I've got this, and it attaches to that. Yeah? I'm almost afraid not to do it. Oh, yeah, yeah, we've got a clip. Okay. Ah, yes, yeah, so these point outwards, I believe. I believe, do you believe? Okay. So that one, this is where it's good. It'd be good to angle it down so we can see what we're doing. See, that one looks like it goes in there. Snap? Is it? Is it going to be a snap? Come on. Let's hear a snap. And, not, and a good snap, not a bad snap. Okay, it's dis, it's it's deciding. Are you not snapping in? Oh, it should do. 
Oh, it didn't snap in, it smushed in. Ah, Dreaming Star, bonsoir mon ami, how are you? How are you doing? I'm not doing too badly. Bit of a bit of a late stream, because I've just been tidying up some uh, videos, as you have uh, been discovering. <laughs> just been throwing some stuff up there, so I can feel like I can stream something again, especially since I've seen the movie twice now. And it's like, yo... I want to stream something. So yeah, how are you? Yeah, I don't think. Uh, yep, yeah, the 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 not they don't want to snap in. I'll, I'll I'll give it a go with this one. Maybe you can hear it if it does. Ah, there we go. We had a snap. Yeah, the other one didn't snap in, it smushed in. Which is not as satisfying. But at least it did it. So there we go, we've got some gates. Hooah! Cool. Right, what's next? Right, we've got some we've got some tree decor. This doesn't look bad, it's a solid piece of tree. It's tremendous. It's just something you can branch out with. If you can believe it. So yeah, there we go. We've got some we've got we've got we've got trees. Uh a platform. Nope. Okay. Got a bit of uh, foliage here. You can see that sort of it does a hinge snap onto this bit thing here. You can see that one there. So you plug that in there. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I hope I'm doing this right. Come on. Ah, oh, you're gonna be like that, are you? Right. Show sure those nubs and stuffs to make it easier. There we go. It's not very conducive to do it. Doing it on camera, I'm afraid. But there you go. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Yep. Come on. There we go. Da -da. And apparently this... This? Is to go on... This bit. So... Align the... Uh, things? Hmm. The other way around? Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha uh -huh. Yes, the other way around. There we go. Sorry, stream for us. Hope you're okay. Oh, dear. Everyone send love and support for Dreaming Stars stream. <laughs> or internet, should I say, because we, we, it's it's caused her trouble in the past. Um, stream for us. Don't, ah, don't worry about it. Dreaming star, as long as you're okay. I uh, hope you're okay. I'm okay. Thank you very much. Uh, and hugs. Hugs all round. Hugs. Okay, and now we've got these bits. So you can see... See, I'll have to send it back. It's broken already. <laughs> I joke, of course. It's supposed to be like that. Right. And apparently you... Oh, apparently you hinge them in. So you got... You got yeah, you got these hingy bits there. And, and then you do... The, oh, dear. And, and, and you hinge that in. Oh, God. Oh, um, there you go. And, and then you hinge it in like that. And there you go. It sits, sits there. Where absolutely nothing can go wrong. And... Is that it? Is that everything? Ooh, not nearly everything. Because we've got this, and we've got this. And you plug this into there. And you can kind of see where that's going. So... Uh, do -do -do -do. 
So let's get these. Um, let's get the actual dinosaurs themselves out because we have. Oh no! Do I have to destroy the box to get these things out? Oh, I don't want to destroy it. Oh dear. One moment. Well, I, I could I could just get the raptor out. <laughs> so so we'll, we'll we'll open this and then we'll put pop the raptor in. There you go. Get in there. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a Velociraptor or an Atrociraptor. Probably probably rap probably a Velociraptor. But there we go. Raptor in there. Ah, there we go. And then we've got the big new bear himself, the Gigantosaurus. Not looking too bad. The eye pen's not bad, is it? As well. I picked a good one there. We've got, got the articulated jaw. Bah. Not much paint going on, going, on, going on inside there, but it's got the basics down. So, yeah, that's not too bad at all. Not too bad. A rib defect. I would say that, um, again, try not to spoil things from the movie, but uh, someone, someone said, I think it was the director himself, who likened this new bad dinosaur to the Joker, in a way. And I suppose that meant in the sense that it it appear it appears seemingly from nowhere and and you you get no background information from it and it's just a force of destruction that sort of thing. Honestly, I wasn't feeling that from from the movie, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just yeah, I wasn't feeling the jokeriness. <laughs> but yeah, so so as you can see, this is where it's supposed to stand, and you can sort of get the idea of what we're going for here. This is a launcher, like a disc launcher, and it's thank you, and it's supposed to shoot onto this big button here, which releases this here, and and reveals the raptor. That's the, that's the plan anyway. So let's try it, shall we? <laughs> no, that didn't do it. Right, let's try again. Yeah. Yay, it did it. Second time. So there we go. The raptors revealed the Gigantosaurus can go. And and break its jaw, because obviously, and, and then and then can go all smashy and then ah oh, break out and it's like, oh, alarm bells going off and Gavin screaming and stuff. So so yeah. That's that's the gist of it, and I th oh, and it says on the thing you know it can it can it can break out of this side as well, which yeah yeah I suppose, cool yeah. I mean you can you, all you do is literally just put it in there like it's uh, some some living Thunderbird two, and then it just come out and then da, 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 da. <laughs> but yeah, that's not as a little playset you know just just for. Just for a nice little display piece. This is very nice. I like. I like. And you just knock, knock on the gates and they're like, can I come in? It's like, just like open the gates and be like, oh, yeah, you can come in. And it's like, I, I just, just like scratch myself on some trees and, the, and, and then we'll knock this shrubbery down and then go, ah, raptor! Nom, 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 Yeah, it's late. <laughs> As you can tell. Put him in there again. Yeah. There we go. So yeah, not a bad time. And I suppose I should point out that it has this extra piece here. Now this, I believe, goes on here at the front. Does it clip on? Does it clip on? Well, ah, it, it, it angles on. There you go. 
angles on, and it's got another set at the other side as well because there are there is at least another one of these uh, mini sets in this range. And when I picked this one up, um, I had a chance to pick the other one up as well, but uh, but I felt like I already spent a lot at that point, so I will get it to the later date. And it's this one, the Mosasaurus one. Similar kind of functions as well. Larger creature, smaller creature. Larger creature sits on a disc that you can shoot and it can attach to this one. So you've got these um, like almost like basic level, you know, basic um, buildings and facilities inspired by uh, the film, but not necessarily representative of what the film has except for the creatures themselves, or at least the big creatures anyway. So yeah, that is, oh, where's the disc? There we go. Now I'll just, just pop it on the disc so I can do a final thing. So yeah, uh, there we go. Uh, sh where, where shall I put this? I'll, I'll put that, I'll put that there. That's, that looks nice there. Right, and, and, and this is just a weird, weird thing. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's, that is the Gigantosaurus Rampage playset. And yes, I'm saying Gigantosaurus appropriately. <laughs> Don't at me. So yes, Gigantosaurus playset uh, and the Owen escape pack, which is still back there. Just get Owen and his... Uh, Strange helmet that doesn't really fit too well. It might do. It just need. It just needs heating up. So yeah, not a bad little selection of goodies. I've got some more uh, stuff to look at uh, in in the weeks to come, especially because this is Jurassic June. I want to get as much dinosaur content in as possible. So yeah, uh, look out for that when, whenever, and when, when, wherever they come. Uh, usually on my YouTube. Uh, that's where I post most things. I'll probably be putting this one on the YouTube uh, very shortly. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, a bit of a short one today, but... Uh, thank you. Stay. Stay. Good. Yes. Thank you very much for watching. Be rawsome to yourselves and each other. And... Wash your dang hands, obviously. And always consider a cup of T-Rex. Stay safe, stay Jurassic if you're going to try hunting these things as well. And yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.